Okay. Okay. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay. <laughs> you told me to shake it out. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. Today we are going to uh, kind of... Cap the mountain we've been climbing. Yes, and boost your ego. <laughs> yeah, sort of. in a way, yeah. In a way. <laughs> if you want to take it that way, it'll yeah. happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are basically saying today, and Kai will go into more depth about this, but you are the center of... Everything. That everything, happens. yeah. Kind of Would your it, universe. Yeah. So, this is something that we aren't really very aware of all the time necessarily but it is something that you can become aware of very easily and that is just the fact that you are at the center of everything you ever experience you're the center of it and if that seems odd to you right now take a moment and think about it can you ever divorce yourself from the senses that you're going on around you the experiences you're having the thoughts you're thinking are you ever not present with them no <laughs> even even in a, you might be thinking to yourself, what about meditation? Even in a meditation sense, you are present with yourself. Yeah, and you're never, I, you're never ideally solely gone. yourself, but <laughs> it, again, you're still present with yourself. Mm -hmm. And this, guys, go back to that original point that we always bring up for what yoga is. It's recognizing the difference to, between self and other. So I am different than Clifton in some sense, but. That's only because I am aware of the experiences I'm having and not the experiences Clifton's having. The experiences that I'm having are creating this sense of me. And that is, again, the ego at work here. We're spending a lot of time on the ego in these videos, but recognizing that every experience you have is helping to, in some way, build your sense of ego if you aren't aware of that. So if you recognize that you being the center of everything also means that you have to have everything else around you. Then you are becoming more aware of that divisionless unity that is the end point in yoga. When you recognize there is no difference between you and me, Clifton, <laughs> then you've begun to kind of get to that enlightenment point. Guys, so <clears throat> take a moment here. Think about it. Notice how everything you ever do is something that you're doing, you could say. Mm -hmm. And bring that into your practice. So, Yeah. It's as simple as that. That's all or it is. Or also not as simple as that. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Please feel free to ask. There are no stupid questions. Uh, so, yeah. Let us know. Let us know what you guys are thinking. Give somebody a high five. Two high fives. Three high fives. Four. Five. And we've counted to five for five fingers on our hands that we just high-fived with. I was curious so we were going to five. <laughs> it's uh, time to leave. There were ten fingers. Bye, guys.